Welcome back again to Joe Stun Unboxing. Let's talk a little bit about um, Anthony Fowler because he's retired now. A bit of a shocker, really. 32 years of age from Liverpool, finishes with a 16 wins and two defeats record, turned pro in 2017. A bit surprising, a bit surprising. Um, he did a little video today to say that he's retired. Whether he'll come back or not remains to be seen. You never know. Some people retire and come back, and he is 32. It's not, not young, but it's not old. I don't know. But his heart, he said his heart's not really in it and he's got a family now and he's thinking, do I really really want to get punched in the head? It's, he, as he put it, he cares more about his health now than he did previously. And I think that's kind of, that happens to you when you get older, you know. You do realise, actually, there are other things to life. Um, but he was the 2014 Commonwealth Games um, gold medalist, uh, Fowler. And when he turned pro at 2017, that would have made him, what, 26, I think he was? Uh, he was tipped for, you know, for to win belts. And uh, in 18 fights in six years, it is a little disappointing that he didn't win any belts apart from, I think it was a WBO middleweight, intercontinental middleweight title against um, uh, Brian Rose, I think it was, 10-round decision. Um, his two biggest fights... Uh, to be honest, he lost uh, the first one when he was undefeated. He was undefeated, um, and he faced another undefeated fighter who has his own problems, to put it mildly, and that's Scott Fitzgerald. Um, and Fitzgerald outpointed him over ten rounds. That was at the Echo Arena in Liverpool. Obviously, Fowler was the favourite. He was the home guy, but Fitzgerald won a split decision victory, and. Deserved it, in my opinion. He did punctuate his performance with a knockdown in the 10th and final round. Uh, this was at light middleweight, where um, Fowler spent most of his career, 154. Um, and Fitzgerald sprung the upset, basically. And we know what's happened to Fitz Fitzgerald. He's heading for to prison. He's got serious addiction issues, so good luck to him. So you know what? Life's a marathon, isn't it? It's not the proverbial sprint, and you've got to look at what's happened to Scott Fitzgerald and what's now happening to Fowler and who was the real winner? I don't know. You know, you win a boxing match, you feel top on top of the world and then suddenly your world collapses. It's, it's a shame what's happened to Scott Fitzgerald. But anyway, anyway, after that fight, Fowler fought, did fight Brian Rose, won the WBO Intercontinental Middleweight title. Uh, even though he, he then went back down to light middleweight, I think, and fought Harry Scarf, I think, who was undefeated at the time. I can't remember who else he fought. Adam Harper, I think, was one who at the time... Was he undefeated? Adam, Adam Harper? He might have a defeat or two on his record. I can't remember. But he wasn't fighting <coughs> leading domestic opposition. He wasn't thinking, OK, I'm going to go for the British. I'm going to go for the Commonwealth. He wasn't doing those incremental steps. When he turned pro in 2017, Fowler was um, 26, he would have been. Only six years ago. So... You would have thought, do it in the incremental steps way, you know, even start with the area title and the English title, British title, Commonwealth title, build yourself up. Don't try and do the, you know, 20, it's not like he's 30, turned pro at 32, he was 26. So he had time to build, build, you know, pick up a few belts, build a bit of an audience. Well, he had an audience anyway in Liverpool, but build a bit of a legacy and work your way into European level and then on to world level. But he didn't do that. He didn't really fight anyone of any great note. and But he did have a string of victories following the, the Scott Fitzgerald defeat. And in 2021, he fought, um, this was in his penultimate fight, he fought Liam Smith, an all Liverpool showdown. And most people picked Smith to win, I know I did. And um, sure enough, he did. He stopped Fowler in the eighth round, knocked him down in the fifth and the eighth, I think. Um, and, you know, Fowler... Fowler paid tribute to um, Shane McGuigan, and I think he gave he was quite kind towards Eddie Hearn as well. He said he made good money, three hundred grand, I think he said, or over three hundred grand for his last three fights. So he's coming out of the, the game, you know, after eighteen pro fights with with a bit of money in, in the bank, which is good. He's got a family. This is after all prize fighting, um, but it's a shame he didn't build a bit more of a legacy with with you know by winning belts. I mean. And he, like I say, I wish he'd fought more domestic level fighters. I mean, he was pe fighting people like Rico Mula, um, Fortier, Jorge Fortier, I think was the guy's name. And I'm like, who the, who the hell are these people? And they had statistically good records. But then you're thinking, come on, man, you know, 
go for the British, go for the Commonwealth. It was a bit disappointing. I've got to be honest with you. It's just maybe it's because I'm old fashioned. I like the I like the the traditional route, um, but there didn't seem to be any sort of rhyme or reason to to uh, Fowler's career. Um, he took a couple of big fights and made a little bit of money. No argument there. But there didn't seem to be any sort of pathway towards building him up to world level. It was always a case of fight this, you know, C plus guy, C guy, B minus guy, international guys. Not many people have heard of, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't really get it. I didn't really get how his, his career was managed. Um, anyway, all the best to Fowler because it's the hardest game of all. He's come out with his marbles intact. Um and he's made a bit of money and he's got a family. So good luck to the man. All the best to him. And yeah, shout out to Anthony Fowler. Um, what do you think of this? Do you think he'll come back though? Because sometimes these guys do come back, don't they? They get itchy feet. But he is 32, so maybe maybe the time's right to get out and enjoy life. Yeah, good luck to them. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. That would help us too. And as always, thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. I do appreciate it. If you've got any comments, leave them below and I'll read them later and answer. Um, yep, speak again soon. Bye for now.